daily essential husband. I slept with these earrings in and now my ears hurt. I'm gonna leave them out for a little bit. Ow. Last night there was like this Christmas party thing on campus so I was out kinda late and I also had hot pot with some friends so my face isn't looking the best this morning. I'm going in with a pot concealer first. This is this one from NARS. I really like this one because it's so light on the skin. But a con to this product is it breaks you out initially. But like not anymore. I think my skin just needed some time to get used to it. Anyways, it is currently exam week. Last night I went to bed at like 1am. I told myself that I would stay up to like 4 in the morning because i'm quite behind on my studies but i'm going to school today going is a form of commitment like if i go i have to study you know powder i'm using this one from laneige oh. i feel like whenever i'm stressed my mind tends to go elsewhere that's not in the present moment so i tend to think a lot about the future the past i don't know why like i just try to escape the now the present moment and doing so i'm taking away the good from the present moment contour i'm debating if i should even do eye makeup if i do my eye makeup it would solely be because i am filming this video oh <gasps> why did i just do that just dug my nails deep into the pot concealer here's the thing i've been like trying to plan 2024 and my bucket list for 2024 and one of the main things on there is to go to New York you know why? it's not even the matter of wanting to go to New York anymore it's the matter of wanting to break this stupid curse that I have it seems like every time I plan to go to New York something happens the first time I tried to go to New York when even was that? it was like two years ago um, something came up my friend couldn't go flopped second time booked the flights my connecting flight got cancelled so i was stuck in minneapolis or somewhere i think it was minneapolis literally spent so much money on hotel and transit and westjet did not even refund me i think they refunded my flight but not my hotel and everything oh yeah and then third time i was supposed to go for this brand pop-up had budget cuts, got cancelled so i honestly don't know what it is with me in new york every year I have one winter staple piece that I obsess over. Last year, it was this one green turtleneck sweater that was so soft. It was from Oak and Fort. And this year, I had to take some time to think about what my winter staple piece would be because I have this thing where I obsess over something. So it's always like one song, one perfume scent, one Bath and Body Works candle that I've been using since like junior high, just the same scent for everything, hand sanitizer, candle, hand wash, like everything. So I like being in my own little routine, you know? I don't, I'm not a huge explorer. That's a lie because I don't really like to try new things, but I push myself to try new things, you know? But when it comes to things that bring me comfort and peace, I try to just stick through it because I know what works for me. So yeah, where, what was I even talking about? Oh yeah, winter clothes. This year, it's this one scarf, which sounds really silly because that's not even a piece of clothing. I really want to bleach my eyebrows. I feel like they look really dark. And my eyebrows have been super arched nowadays because I shaved them wrong. Should we talk about recent purchases or is that annoying? Because I find myself annoying for even buying this. Do you see how much better it looks when your eyebrows look lighter? Mm. Look at how pretty this blush is. They always send me this huge PR package with so much makeup. And so I've been very blessed. But And they also sent me this makeup brush. I'm so sorry this get ready with me is so quiet. But I need to save my energy for studying. So... Bum, 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 bum. 
This has been my favorite lipstick. It's from MAC Cosmetics in the shade Mischief. I think everyone looks so much better with nudie my lips with better shades. I know with the rise of like East Asian makeup, everyone's really into like bright pinks. Everyone who looks good with those bright colors, I think looks so much better with nudier lip shades. But yeah, try it out. Give it, give it a shot. Okay, I, I finished my eye makeup. I'm debating if I should wear this beanie. Because then I can cover up my eyebrows. My mom just texted me. She's like, are you sure you want to go to school? The roads are really slippery. But I need to go. I have to study. So I'll probably Uber. I know we have this like gene mutation that makes us not stink but I have a fear of smelling that so I just use it This is like a body cream, it smells so freaking good, it's from Fenty Skin It smells like coconut vanilla, cinnamon, and it's like the perfect winter scent I think I am all ready for school. I'm gonna call an Uber now, but this is my outfit of the day. This sweater is from My Mom Made It. It's the brand name. And this top is from Cider, pants from Brandy Melville, and this hat is from H&M. And these are from Apple. Oh, my Uber's here. Bye. See you next week. <laughs> Woke up at 11 o'clock, I ain't got no job, what the hell should I do today? This feel like some I don't give a fuck, oh my god, shut the fuck up, I ain't hearing what you gotta say